It's not, it's not about control. It's not like he wants to kill. He just doesn't want to die. You know what I'm saying? It's that, it's that situation when you got, we, we are living in a war zone. I feel like I could represent my generation so much because I honestly did not care whether I lived or die. But now, I cannot die. I can't leave until this shit is straight. You know, I'm not suicidal. I'm not, I can't go until y'all really know what time it is. And then after that, boom, it's all over. And we can see, you know, how this shit fall. But that's how it is. And the reason being is because if I can't live free, if I can't live with the same respect as the next man, conversation for King. The most important question that I have is, after hearing what they've heard from all these great mentors, how can they take what they've heard and apply it moving forward? Okay, first of all, I'd like to say, well, thank you for such a great event. Yes, ma'am. But more so, it was very important that you had this event the Friday leading into spring break, because we know that often as young people, whether you're a male or a female, you can sometimes find yourself in situations exactly. that are not favorable. Exactly. So today, I think you all had very engaging conversations so that they could all walk, walk away with how to properly interact with someone, particularly law enforcement. I think the most important thing that they are going to walk away from, walk away with, is that they are worthy of respect. Mm. Regardless to your age, your race, your ethnic background, you are worthy of respect. Mm. But not only are you worthy of respect, you are responsible for respecting the other person Ooh, as that's, well. That's definitely right. Those that's were the most right. powerful pieces for me. That's definitely right. Now, let's just say we have somebody who wants to do something very similar. If you had any advice to possibly give them, what would be the advice that you possibly would give them? I would say basically start where you are. That's pretty much what you did here. Mm. Look at the needs of your school, listen to your students, 
and see how you could possibly meet those needs. And then I think it's important that uh, you did a great job of bringing in outside resources because oftentimes, it's just like being at home with your parents, you can hear someone saying something Ooh, over and over yes, and over. But yes. when you bring in different people and they're kind of saying the same things that you've said, yes, man, yes, man. Then it resonates with them a little more. Mm. I would just like to say too, with, with ha us having a school here, I am very intentional as a leader to ensure that I am intentional about hiring males because males need male role models just as much as females need female role models. So uh, that would be my suggestion. You have so many males at Irwin Middle School and we just put on this, I don't know, this conversation for a king with all males. How do you think this will impact the males as we come back from spring break? Oh, I, I think it's gonna have a huge impact. In fact, I saw the impact as they were leaving the gymnasium. 